What's up guys, this is Jake Voorhees and you're watching episode 2 of the 1% Engineer Show. Today in episode 2, we're going to be talking about undergraduate research and why it's maybe good for you. I was lucky enough to be chosen by a professor, Dr. Jack Vallejo, to do undergrad research at Delaware. And today, I'm going to be talking about three reasons why it changed my life. And maybe it can for you as well. At Delaware, when I was an undergrad, there was a project called the Smart Bridge. It was an initiative between Dr. Chages and Dr. Shenton where they wired a bridge south of Wilmington with about 60 strain gauges and these strain gauges were attached to sensors and when these sensors were triggered based on whatever was going on, the strain gauges would put readings into the system and they wanted to incorporate a camera system with Jack Paleo that would do stuff in accordance to the strain situation. And I was lucky enough to be chosen by Dr. Paleo for this camera side of the project, and it changed my life in three ways. Reason number one, it made all my friends jealous. And that's not reason number one. Reason number one, it set me apart from most other undergraduate engineers. When you're in undergraduate, you are doing everything you can to be competitive, to be bigger, stronger, faster than everyone else. And few engineers have the ability to do research while they're a student, so this makes you different, this makes you special. Reason number two, it set me up for grad school admission. Yes, I went to grad school, UW, after Delaware, because I graduated in spring of 2009. It was a great choice, but it prepared me for the research world. It showed my professor at Wisconsin that I was ready for this. I knew the ecosystem, things like that. Reason number three why it changed my life and the biggest reason was it opened my mind to new ideas and eventually the commercialization of new ideas. Research at Delaware led to more camera research at Wisconsin and more camera research at Wisconsin and when I was hired in Chicago and then asked to go to Vancouver and I found out that Canada was leading the world in drone initiatives and research and commercial projects. I had an opportunity to have an open mind and launch a drone venture. And I would have never been ready, had the foresight, had the experience in innovation and things like this to want to push this venture if it wasn't for doing undergraduate research, which would have led me to grad school, which created this chain reaction of things that really started my entrepreneurial career. So those are the three ways that grad school changed my life and maybe it should be a consideration for you. I did not get there on my grades. I got there on relationships and drive and passion. Again, in summary, the three ways to delineate you from other engineers. Two is to prepare you for grad school and other research in your career. And reason number three is to open your mind to new ideas. Thanks for watching episode two guys. Stay tuned for more in episode three where I go over ideas for getting funding for undergraduate research, how to volunteer, get involved, comment on the show, send me some feedback. Everything so far has been great and stay hungry in your quest to be a 1% engineer. Thanks.